Welcome back, Agile enthusiasts, to another exciting episode of Agile and Scrum. I'm your host, Dan Maikic, and together we're diving deep into the world of Scrum from an entirely new perspective. Okay, now I will show you tips that will help you deal with uncooperative team members in Scrum. Teamwork can be a live nightmare when Scrum team members don't get along. Tasks take longer and tension is in the air. An unhealthy environment can cause mutual unhappiness. And here are tips as a key to success in dealing with difficult Scrum team members. Okay, so the first try to connect on a personal level. An uncooperative person may be behaving so because before Agile transformation, they were probably the go-to person for everything and now they can't deal with the change. One way to know what the problem is, try to connect them on a personal level. And we talked about this, go out with them for a coffee or hang out during a lunch and get to know what is bothering them. Okay, next one is don't ignore conflict. Because often uncooperative team members can show their disinterest by passing an offensive comment. Rather than giving it to these negative emotions, you should see it as an opportunity and try to resolve the conflict rather than ignoring it. It obviously will require some personal courage, but the benefits are greater than having dealt with the conflict. The third one is set ground rules. We talked about this one as well, but not as the team level. And here is the thing. You discourage uncooperative behavior involve your team in setting some ground rules. So these rules should apply to each member, each team member, including the scrum master and product owner. Specify what behavior is acceptable and what is not and what will be the consequences of not following these ground rules. If someone from the team has no regard for this rule and breaks them regularly, the Scrum team should be empowered enough to remove that person from the team. Okay. Next one. Try to look at things differently. What may seem like uncooperative behavior to you may be justified in a team member's eyes. So try to look at things differently and think from their perspective. This will help you to understand what the issue is and deal with it in a better way. Ask them about their problems and listen rather than trying to make them look to you. And finally, ask not to be a scrum master. This may be a last resort as sometimes you simply cannot deal with uncooperative team members. The uncooperative member may be a senior stakeholder that just refuses to listen, or one bad apple could create uh, havoc and the rest of the team starts to behave uncooperatively too. So rather than having sleepless nights and bad days, ask not to be a scrum master of this team. The purpose of the Agile transformation is to work very closely and collaboratively. And this is why it is essential that each member is playing their part and uncooperative people are dealt with. Okay? I hope these tips help you in dealing with uncooperative team members in Scrum and be the best Scrum Master you can be. Thank you for watching.